Hello and welcome to another instalment of B60 TV. As you can see, we're in our brand new studio, our new home. Uh, I hope you like it. Um, so today we're going to be talking about developing a business case uh, when it comes to mobile apps and uh, measuring an ROI on that. So Pete, how do businesses go about doing that? Well, that's a really interesting question actually, Andy. Um, ROI stands for Return on Investment. So any commercial business needs to make smart investments and within mobile that's no exception. And so the, the level of, of which the return on said investment is measured is very, very important. There's a number of factors that we that we go through when we develop apps. The, the very first question is, well, what's the aim of this app? Why do you need an app? Uh, once you've got an aim, you can very quickly develop objectives, um, and these these can be quantified into what we what we often call key performance indicators or KPIs. Um, but once you've got KPIs, that that essentially shows you the quantifiable benchmarks that you need to achieve. In for, for which the app is judged a success. Um, now that success um, can sometimes be monetary, it can sometimes be efficiency, it can sometimes be savings, and that in turn is what is coined as a return on investment. Now then, actually calculating return on investment can sometimes be quite difficult. Um, for some of our applications that we've developed for sales teams, for example, it's, it, it's relatively simple because um, the investments, the calculation is quite an easy one. Um, the level of investment for development for, um, and deployment um, versus the calculated uplift in sales. So it's quite quite easy for development is 100,000 and you, uh, you experience a 200,000 pounds uplift in sales, then that's very good at ROI. Um, but when it comes to other applications or other internal applications, then this can be a little bit more difficult. So, for example, apps for engineering teams, um, the ROI is often calculated in the re reduction in wastage, efficiency, increased efficiency, or even reduced mistakes uh, or increased accuracy. Um, it, all of which are very, very common ROI measurements, but the key is identifying quantifiable key performance indicators. Um, and these all come from your objectives. 